What's up guys, Bree here with South Coast Fabrication and Outdoors. Uh, just got up to the shop, going to do a little bit of fabricating today. Um, I was going to do some crawfish table fabrication, make aluminum crawfish tables, but the main welder that I use, which is a Millermatic uh, 251 with an aluminum spool gun, it seems to have died on me. It's uh, giving me a error code and won't let me weld anything. And see it's saying help 001 so I'm going to have to bring this into the shop and see what they say about it but instead of doing the crawfish tables I'm going to do a little bit of I'm do a little bit of TIG welding, a little piece of artwork. Um, my wife had asked me to do, I'll use my Miller Dynasty TIG welder um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to cut a section of this flat bar off. This is a 3 8 it's 3 8 inch thick, 6 inch wide flat bar. I'm going to cut about a 6 or 8 inch long section out of it and weld a little, little cross into it with some TIG rod. Um, so y'all just uh, hang out and we'll get you set up here and We'll see how it goes. That was awesome. start with there we go sometimes things just don't go right the first time you gotta figure yourself out had this wheel on here for a long time so it's been a while since I've pulled that nut off. Alright, here we go.
So what I'm making is a cross five inches. Mark both sides just to sort of see how square my stock piece is. The stainless filler on mild steel stock, um, mainly just to try and get some color. This is RPs, it's not structural or anything like that. So, I'm gonna see if I can get some color out of it. I know I have a tendency of burning things too hot. Oh, boom. One of the dangers of a watered cooled torch. Gosh. All right, let me see if I can get this cleaned up and then I'll uh, get back going on it. I gotta find some new batteries for this helmet. I may try, and I got another helmet, which y'all are looking through right now. I may try to uh, put that one back together and use that one and then just let y'all watch through the number three shade of the speed glass helmet whenever, because it's not going dark on me. So. I'm going to see if my Miller helmet will work for me so we can actually get something done, but uh, you see a change in, in your view, that's what it is, it switch you from one uh, welding lens over to the other, that is not working properly. All right.
Alright guys, well I think I'm going to call it good on the welding on this guy. Um, you get to a certain point with projects like this and you want to keep going, but you want to keep going just to keep welding, but I think this is at a spot where if I continue to add anything, it's just going to uh, detract from what I've done already. So, what we're going to do is, I'll probably trim off the bottom edge of this clean it up, get those scribe marks out of there. I'm going to drill a couple holes in it so we can put some wire in there for a hanger. And, uh, and then we will be done with it. Um, yeah, as you can see, and as I said earlier, I'm, I'm definitely not a great TIG welder, but I do what I can and try and do stuff like this to get more practice and learn and just better my skills so if anybody's looking for a little project to do to get some reps in with the TIG welder it's definitely a good one to do so I'll uh, bring y'all along as I finish it up That's it for today. It's 309 or 308 uh, stainless steel weld wire on a piece of mild steel flat stock. Good little project to practice TIG welding. Uh, if you like the fabrication video, let me know and I'll see if I can get some more going um, as I come up and do little fabrication projects. I can. Uh, film them here and there but um, if you like the video subscribe give it a thumbs up if you don't mind and leave me some comments tell me what you think all right we appreciate it and we'll talk to you later bye